The Lord be with you. Welcome home to St. Mark's on this second Sunday after Epiphany. Today we consider the meaning of that most blessed of miracles, the wedding at Cana where Jesus turns water into wine. But first, we give thanks for our baptism. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are clothed with God's mercy and forgiveness. Let us then give thanks for the gift of baptism. Good and gracious Father, we give you thanks, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood you delivered Noah and his family. Through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom, at the river, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By water and your word, you claim us as daughters and sons, making us heirs of your promise and servants of all. We praise you for the gift of water that sustains life. And above all, we praise you for the gift of new life in Jesus Christ. Shower us with your spirit and renew our lives with your forgiveness, your grace, and your love. All honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Everybody say, Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord God, source of every blessing, you showed forth your glory and led the world to faith by the works of your Son, who brought gladness and salvation to all people. Transform us by the spirit of his love, that we may find our life together in him, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. We have bread. May it become for us the body of Jesus Christ, 
our Lord and Savior. And we have wine. Mingled with a little water to remind us that from his side floweth, flowed both blood and water. And we ask, Father, may it become for us the very blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God of all creation. Everything in the universe is yours. Lord Jesus, thank you. I give you what you first gave me. I give you my hands to do your work. I give you my feet to go your way. I give you my eyes to see as you see. I give you my tongue to speak your words. I give you my mind to think as you think. I give you my spirit so that you may pray in me. I give you my heart so that you may love in me. I give you myself so that you may grow in me. All things come of you, O Lord. And of your own do we give you. Let's celebrate. Let us love one another that we may celebrate this holy mystery in peace. A blessing of peace, a sacrifice of praise. Holy things for holy people. Thanks be to God, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places offer thanks and praise to you, O Lord, Holy Father, through Christ our Lord. Sharing our life, he lived among us to reveal your glory and love, that our darkness should give way to his own brilliant light. And so with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory to you, Almighty Father, for of your tender mercy you gave your only Son, Jesus Christ, to be born for us as one of us 
and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. Our Savior Jesus, who has made a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and who instituted and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue this perpetual recalling of his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the recalling of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. O Lord, loving Father, we, your servants, celebrate and make here the memorial your Son has commanded us to make, gratefully remembering his humble incarnation his obedient and faithful life and witness, his precious death and passion, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We earnestly desire you to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and to bless and sanctify with your word and Holy Spirit these your gifts, of bread and wine. And here we offer, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice, praying that we may be filled with your grace and blessing, and made one body with Christ, that he may dwell in us and we in him. All this we ask through that same Son, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, in your holy Church, now and forever. Amen, amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The disciples knew the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, these are the gifts of God for you, the people of God. Everybody say, thanks be to God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. O oh Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ given for us. And the blood of Christ shed for us. May we take and eat these in remembrance that Christ died for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Blood of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, wash me. Jesus, my Savior, dwell in me. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you provide the true bread from heaven, Jesus Christ, our Lord. In this time of continuing isolation, we are truly sorry we cannot all be together again in person to commune with you and with the family you've gathered at St. Mark's. Even so, we give you thanks that we can receive you, as always, spiritually, through the healing power of this gift of life, and through that same Jesus Christ, living and reigning with you in the Holy Spirit, 
one God, world without end. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Now as we prepare to meditate on the gospel of the day, we sing songs of thankfulness and praise, Jesus Lord, to thee we raise. Songs of thankfulness and praise, Jesus, Lord, to thee we raise. Manifested by the star to the sages from afar, branch of royal David, stem in thy birth at Bethlehem, anthems be to thee addressed, God in man made manifest. Manifest at Jordan stream, prophet, priest, and king supreme, and at Cana, wedding guest, in thy Godhead manifest. Manifest in power divine, changing water into wine, and thems be to thee addressed, God in man made manifest. Grant us grace to see the Lord mirrored in thy holy word. May we imitate thee now and be pure as pure art thou, that we like to thee may be thy great epiphany, and may praise the ever-blessed God in man-made manifest. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Three days after John the Baptist testified to Jesus as the Messiah, and three days after Jesus had called his disciples, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to them, fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine, 
and did not know where it came from, although the servants who drew the water knew. The steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you've kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this the first of his signs in Cana of Galilee and revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord praise to you, O Christ. In the name of our one true, holy, and living God, Amen. You've kept the good wine to the last. Surprise. Well, it's epiphany season, the season that we remember how Jesus manifested himself showed himself forth as the Son of God. This epiphany season is full of surprises. Think, wise men from the East, following a star, kneeling before this infant in this obscure part of the world, proclaiming him by their kneeling as king, maybe as God. Maybe they didn't know, but something led them. And what a surprise. Certainly a surprise to Herod and all of Jerusalem, the Gospels tell us. And then Jesus, cousin of John, presenting himself at the Jordan River like everybody else, for baptism, to prepare for the Messiah. John is shocked. He knows who he is. He is the Lamb of God, is Jesus. It's a revelation to him. It's a surprise. And again, God speaking from heaven. This is my beloved, my son in whom I'm well pleased. Shock and surprise. And now we have Jesus at a wedding in an obscure little town north of Nazareth, another obscure little town, enjoying a wedding feast. He's there with his disciples and his mother. That wedding feast is, on the surface of it, is it not, an ordinary wedding feast for the time. Lots of wine. People are drinking heavily. The wine gives out. And like all mothers, Jesus' mother says to her son, can you do something about this? And he says, oh woman, the time's not right. Whatever that means. But then he does the first of his signs. According to John, the first of his signs, he manifests himself as Christ the Messiah, God, by turning all that water into wine. And it's such good wine that the steward of the feast is amazed. Again, another surprise. He's amazed and says everybody else leaves the good, bad wine to the end when everybody's drunk and don't care. You've left this wine, he says to the bridegroom, the best for the last. Think of the surprises 
in our lives? Do we take them as, well, just sort of happy coincidences or not so happy coincidences? Do they have resonance beyond that? Well, actually, for us Christians, they most certainly do. And in the Gospel of John, ordinary things become extraordinary. Surprise, full of surprises that lead us to God, to Jesus as the Messiah of God. The wedding, as I say, it's an ordinary event. Lots of water, yes, ready for purification or being topped up by the servants. Wine, yes, that runs out, probably happens more than once. Ordinary things, but with extraordinary resonance. And especially that line, you save the last for the best, which makes us think, yes, that wine is Jesus' blood. Jesus, the Messiah, Jesus, the Son of God, the very best of all creation. And the last and the best for us. Now think again of those surprises in our lives. We can more or less dismiss them as coincidences. But as baptized followers, disciples, consecrated followers, disciples of Jesus Christ, the very Son of God, would it not be far more righteous to see those so-called coincidences and surprises as signs of God working in our lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Now we sing what we believe in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As
as God's chosen, we have the right to make intercession for the world, for the church, as we do now. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you praise and thanks for all your goodness and all your tender mercies, especially the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, the very light of the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for the gifts you shower upon us, those blessings showered upon us in both our time of want and our time of plenty. Help us to treasure in our hearts all that our Lord has done for us in our personal lives and here at St. Mark's and enable us to show our thankfulness by lives that are given gratefully to your service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Save and defend your church universal. Make it perfect in love and in all good works and establish it in the faith delivered to the saints. Sanctify and unite us and all your holy people here in Chesley and throughout the world that we may each and all witness to you the God and Father of us all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Preserve our country, Canada, in all righteousness and honor, and continue your blessings to us as a people that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honor. Grant health and favor to all who lead us and help them to acknowledge and obey your holy will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of mercies, we pray that you will comfort with the grace of your Holy Spirit all who are in need. Give cheer to our shut-ins. Bless the dying. Console those who mourn, especially those who are the family of Walter Atten, his friends, and this parish. Grant us all, we beseech thee, an abundance of your love and tender care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we remember with thanksgiving those who have loved and served you in our time on earth. 
especially Walter. Keep us in fellowship with them and with all your saints and bring us to the same joys that have no measure. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things and whatever else you see that we need, grant us, O Holy One, for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ, who comes to us and abides with us, and who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Everybody say, Amen. And now, my brothers and sisters in Christ, may God, may Christ be manifest in us that our lives may be light in the world. And the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.